For more full-length yoga classes, join me on bananablondiyoga.com. Let's begin sitting on your heels, the nice long spine. Your gaze is relaxed. Bring your palms together, interlacing your fingers, and just begin to roll out the wrists, moving in each direction. And then you can take whatever hand or arm movement you'd like to warm the wrists a little bit more. All the while noticing the sound of your breath. Release the hands and place the right hand on the ground, leaning your weight into it. And lift the left knee up to stretch the top of that left foot. And relax both shoulders down. And come to the other side to stretch the top of that right foot. And release, come back to center. And take your knees wide and extend forward into Balasana. Really reaching the fingertips forward and the tailbone back. Let your chest rest in between your thighs. And maybe roll your head from side to side, massaging that third eye space. Take a deep breath in and roll your spine up to sitting on your heels. And let's take some circles with the hips. You can allow it to be a full body movement, inhaling as you open the heart and exhaling as you circle that rib cage back. And go ahead and change directions. Nice deep breaths. Good, now come on to all fours, aligning the shoulders over the wrist, knees under the hips. Draw the rib cage in and slowly sway the tailbone from side to side. Good, releasing any tension in the low back. And come to center, inhale, arch your back, bend your elbows slightly, opening up your chest. And exhale, round the spine, pulling the navel in and pushing the ground away from you. Inhale, arch, gaze up to the sky. And exhale, round, press the ground away from you. Belly draws in. Inhale and arch. And exhale, come back to a neutral spine. Walk the hands forward and sway the hips from side to side as you lower the chest down for puppy pose. Bring your forehead to the ground and roll it from side to side, opening up all the way deeply into the shoulders. And then come to center. If it's comfortable for you, you can bring the chin to the earth, really reaching the tailbone up towards the sky, finding that deep back bend and shoulder opener. Activate those triceps. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, lower the hips to the heels. Inhale and roll the spine up to sitting on the heels. Good, now extend the hands forward and find your way into downward facing dog with the knees slightly bent. Feel the spine elongate with the breath. Keep that length to the spine, draw the lower ribs in and straighten the legs and lower the heels. Tilt the tailbone up towards the sky. And then slowly, slowly walk the feet up towards the hands. And grab onto the elbows here, bend the knees slightly and just allow your spine to hang long.
Notice your breath. Release the elbows and inhale, roll your spine all the way up to standing. Circle your arms out to the side, reach towards the sky. And exhale, leading with the heart, bow forward. Folding deeply, Uttanasana. Inhale and lift the heart in length and rising up halfway. Exhale, step that left leg back into a lunge. Activate the back thigh, keeping it lifted up away from the earth. Pull the belly in, and as you take a deep breath in, circle the arms back, opening up the heart, reaching up towards the sky. And exhale, hold the elbows for a moment as you twist towards the right. Good, and extend the arms out wide. Inhale, reach the left arm up, right hand rests on the back of the thigh. Open up into a back bend and exhale. It's a windmill, the arms forward, left, right, and then shift the feet into warrior two. Tailbone is heavy, neck is long. Inhale, straighten the front leg and reach it back for reverse trikonasana. And exhale, windmill the hands down to the ground. Coming back into your lunge. Inhale, sweep that front leg back up into your three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the nose as the shoulders shift forward. Inhale, lengthen the leg back. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, lower the knees and come back into puppy pose. So tailbone to the sky, chest to the earth. Open up the shoulders, lower the hips to the heels, and inhale, roll your spine up to sitting on the heels. Good. Exhale, extend the arms forward. Inhale, come through all fours, opening the heart, arching the back, and exhale, downward facing dog. Rise up onto the tippy toes and let's walk the feet up towards the top of your mat. Good. Inhale, the spine lengthens. Exhale and fold deep. Inhale, rise all the way up. Look up and touch the palms together. Exhale, your hands return to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, folding forward, leading with the heart. Inhale, lift the heart and lengthen the spine. As you exhale, step the right leg back into a lunge. Stay up high on the ball of the back foot. Draw the navel in. Inhale, reach the arms up, crescent pose. Exhale, grab onto the opposite elbows, open up the heart and take a little twist, opening towards the left. Extend the arms out to the side. Inhale, reach it back for a little back bend. Exhale, windmill the arms forward, finding warrior two feet. Good, draw in the lower belly. And inhale, reverse Trikonasana, straightening the front leg. And exhale, windmill the hands back down onto the ground. Bend into the front knee for your lunge. And inhale, sweep that left leg high up to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the nose, shoulders shift forward. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lower the knees and find puppy pose. Open up the shoulders here for a moment. Tailbone reaching to the sky. Lower the hips to the heels and inhale, roll the spine up to sitting on the heels. Maybe circle the head back and bring it to center. Good, draw the navel in. Come to standing on your knees. Extend the right leg forward. 
and then bend deeply into that knee coming into a lunge. Keep the navel pulling in and the chest open and lifted. Allow your hips to sink towards the earth. Release your hands down as you kickstand that back foot in. When you feel steady, inhale, windmill your arms up, extending them out. Straighten the front leg. Reach forward and then lower your hand down, coming into a trikonasana on your knees. Extend through the side body. Find more and more length through the spine. Inhale and rise back up, bringing your hands to your heart. Very carefully lower your seat to the earth. Root down into your sit bones and then take a stretch over towards the right. Keep that left sit bone connected with the floor. Inhale and rise up and take a twist, trying to square your chest over the right leg. Walk your hands forward, first lengthening your spine, and then maybe bowing your head. Notice your breath here. Inhale and rise up, turn over towards the left knee and come into puppy pose facing the back of your mat. Allow the ribs to open, find a deep back bend, lower the hips to the heels and inhale, roll your spine up to standing on the knees. And this time we extend the left foot forward and then bend deeply into that front knee, sinking the hips down towards the ground Pull the lower belly in and relax the shoulders down. Release the hands onto the earth as you kickstand that back foot in. Inhale, windmill the arms up, activate the triceps, straighten the leg and exhale, extend over into Trikonasana on your knees. Lengthen through the side body. Notice your breath. Inhale and rise up, hands come together at your heart. Very carefully lower your sit bones to the earth. Extend that left arm towards the foot and reach it over for a side stretch. Keep rooting that right sit bone down into the ground. Inhale and rise up. Take a little twist to the left, squaring the chest over that left leg. Walk the hands out, finding length throughout the spine, and then bow the head, finding a little surrender. Nice deep breaths. Inhale and rise up. Extend the right leg out. Come into a seated wide straddle. Point the toes. Activate your quadriceps and try to keep the knees facing towards the sky. You can walk your hands forward, maybe coming onto your elbows. Or maybe coming forward all the way onto the ground. Feel that deep opening on the inner thighs. Keep the legs active as you walk the hands back in. Coming up to sitting, take the hands behind you, inhale, circle the head back, opening up the ribs. Bring your hands onto your thighs. Let's take some circles with the hips. And now flex the feet. You may need to adjust yourself to come into a wider seated straddle. Walk the hands forward, maybe coming onto your elbows. And this time you can let the knees roll forward, 
allowing the inner thighs to come to the earth. I like to play with movement here, tucking and tilting my tailbone. Really warming up the inner thighs. Maybe making a pillow with your hands and resting your head. Allowing the inner thighs to open a little more with each exhale. Just letting yourself soften. Walk your hands back in. Take them behind the legs. Squeeze the legs together. Bend the knees. Take the knees wide and bring the soles of the feet together. Place your hands on your inner thighs and press them down towards the earth. Take a little twist over to the left. Keep pushing them down. And then come and take the twist over to the right. Good. Come back to center. Move the heels a little bit further away from you. Begin to come forward if that's appropriate for your body. Keep rooting down into the sit bones and reaching the crown of the head forward. You can bow the head if it's comfortable for you. Just take a moment to tune into your breath. And gently rise up. Now we're going to make our way into pigeon pose with the left leg forward and the right leg back. Either making that shin parallel with the end of your mat or you can bring the heel in closer if you need to. Lift the heart up towards the sky. Draw the lower belly in and relax the shoulders down. Breathe deeply here. Feel your strength rising up from your pelvic floor. Very slowly, begin to walk your hands forward, lengthening out the spine. You can move in waves if it feels comfortable for you each inhale lengthening a little more and each exhale folding a little deeper until you come all the way forward resting your head on your hands or a block wherever you are tuning into the sound of your breath And very gently rising back up. Drawing that left heel close in towards the right hip. You can try bending the back leg and grabbing onto the top of the foot with the right hand. Begin to draw the heel in close to the seat. Maybe you're able to flip the grip here and square your chest towards the top of your mat. Relax the shoulders down. Notice the lower belly. Pelvic floor is still engaged. Very gently release. You can bring the foot into the crease of the elbow. Maybe clasp the hands together. Open up the heart. If you'd like to take it a little deeper, coming into full pigeon, 
flipping your grip, sole of the foot, connecting with the crown of your head. Release out of the posture and swing the back leg around to the front. Take hold of the foot and extend the leg up towards the sky, drawing it in close for a hamstring stretch. And then release the leg down. We're gonna come into pigeon with the right leg forward, making any adjustments you need to make, squaring the hips towards the end of your mat, drawing up through the pelvic floor, lower belly pulling in, Heart is lifted as the shoulders relax down. Begin to walk your hands forward, slowly lengthening the spine, waving it down little by little, creating lots of space between each and every vertebrae. And finally settling in, resting your head on your hands. Allowing everything to soften into the support of the earth. And lifting your head and walking the hands back in. Go ahead and draw that heel in closer to the left hip. Reach back for the left foot. Draw the heel in close to the seat. Maybe even flipping the grip. And taking your chest, squaring it towards the end of your mat. Keep pulling the lower belly in and pressing the shoulders down. And then if you want to take that foot into the crease of the elbow, finding mermaid pose, opening up the heart, opening the shoulders, You can stay here or come into any deeper variation. Maybe finding your way to full pigeon. Noticing your breath. Not forcing. Gently release and sweep that back leg around to the front. Grab hold of the heel and extend the foot up towards the sky. And release. We're going to come to sitting. Extend both legs out long. Your feet are about as wide as your mat. Flex the feet and grab onto the toes. Let's round out the spine here. So pulling the belly in lengthening through the lower back, using that leverage of the feet to create more space throughout the spine, opening up all the muscles. Good, and then bowing forward. Feeling that length through the back of the legs, maybe swaying from side to side. Inhale and rise back up. Bring the soles of the feet onto the ground. Feet are hips distance apart. You can take a light grip behind the thighs. Draw the navel in as we slowly roll all the way down onto your back. 
Extend the arms out to the side. Let your palms face down. Draw the knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in as you drop the knees over to the right. Exhale as you draw them through center. Inhale, drop them over to the left. Exhale as you draw the knees back through center using that lower belly. Inhale it over to the right. And we're going to stay here with this flow for a couple more times. Keep your focus on the lower belly. Allowing that movement to stem from your core strength. Good, inhaling deep breaths, exhaling everything out each time you draw the knees to center. And when you come back to center, go ahead and extend the legs up towards the sky. Flex your feet and rest your hands on their lower belly. You can allow your eyes to close here. Relax your jaw and your face. Just notice how the breath moves through the belly. And bend your knees and grab onto the outer edges of your feet, drawing the knees to the earth for happy baby. Root your tailbone down into your mat. Release your feet. Bring your knees together and take your hands to the tops of the knees. Go ahead and circle your knees wide. Down and back together and take that circling a couple more times releasing any tension in your low back lower the feet to the ground and if you want, you can take your fingertips to your thighs, giving yourself a little light touch massage. And whenever you're ready, extend your legs out long on the ground. Bring your arms alongside your body with your palms facing up towards the sky. Allow your eyes to close. Allow your body to soften into the support of the earth beneath you. Allow the effects of your practice to take over. Shavasana.
Begin to bring your awareness back to your breath. Inhale and stretch your arms up over your head. And exhale, roll over onto your right side. Pausing here. And very gently make your way up into a comfortable seat. Let the back of your hands rest on your thighs. Feel your sit bones rooting down and the crown of your head rising up. Feel your breath move through you with ease. Inhale and bring your hands to your heart. Exhale and bow your head. Namaste. For more full-length yoga classes, join me on bananablondiyoga.com.